Let's begin this time of prayer imagining a scene that takes place in the Gospel by the Sea of Galilee, where a large crowd has followed you, Jesus, impressed by the signs that you, you do and the curing of the sick. And then you, Lord, climb a hillside, on sweeping down to the sea. We know more or less where it is now. And you sit down there with your disciples. And at a certain point then, as you're teaching, you see all this large crowd probably growing larger and larger and larger, coming from all the towns and villages around about, many thousands of people. You turn to your apostle Philip and you say, you ask him a question. And we're told this is really to test him. And the question that you put to him, Jesus, is where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? Now, we can imagine Philip is horrified by that question because that is a big problem. That is uh, something that totally is beyond their their capacity, in an insurmountable problem. How could they feed thousands, let alone themselves? You can see sometimes they have problems gathering food for themselves or remembering to bring it on the boat and that kind of thing. How are they going to feed this crowd of thousands? And and Peter, Philip, sorry, Philip perhaps to show how impossible it is, impossible the task is, he says, look, 200 denarii. Remember, a denarius is a, a day's wages for a laborer. So you're talking about thousands, what will be now thousands of thousands of euros. He said that wouldn't be enough even to give each each one of them just a small bit of food. And however, at this point, Andrew, St. Andrew, comes along with a a boy in tow. And he says he says something very interesting. And this is going to be what we're going to focus on. So he brings this fellow, maybe he's just about 12 years old, small little fellow. And he says, there is a small boy here with five barley loaves and two small fish. Now, the very smallness of everything there is already very noteworthy. The boy is small, maybe he's even small for his age. The fish, the fish are small, and it says that they're not, they're not uh, normal-sized fish. The diminutive form is used in the in the original text, so they're small fish. Everything is small here, and and maybe Saint Andrew's saying, "Well, look, this is ridiculous. This is as much as we have: a little twelve-year-old with a couple of barley loaves and a small fish." Now, he does say, "What is that to between so many?" And then Jesus, seeing that the boy, probably seeing that the boy is willing to part with his his little treasure trove of, of fish and loaves, which he probably was selling, actually. Too much probably for, I don't know, maybe it's just packed lunch. But, but Jesus says, make the people sit down. And he draws the little small boy over with his small fish and his barley loaves. Barley are the cheap, cheap loaves, not the wheat. And and we can imagine you, Lord, thanking the boy, blessing the, the, the food, and then proceeding to multiply it. The bread, breaking his hands, handing it to his apostles. They hand it on, and in the process it's getting multiplied. And same with the fish, maybe breaking them in half. And, and each time they're getting multiplied. And, and so just stuff, the, the food just keeps coming. Now, this is so important for us. Give Jesus the small little things you have. Do not be waiting, Jesus is telling us, for great heroic kind of uh, events, which won't happen. We, we, it is very unlikely that we'll have any huge, big heroic actions to undertake for Jesus. What do we have? Well, they're heroic, but they're not huge. Getting out of bed in the morning, being cheerful, doing my work, keeping my room tidy, little tasks around the house, a favor for somebody, all very, very small. But our whole life, yours and mine, is made up of these very small things, and they are our fish and our barley loaves. 
we put these into the hands of Jesus. And Jesus is delighted. He doesn't say, but they're very small. I want some big fish. I want a big, big fellow here with big fish. No, a small boy with small fish and barley loaves. Our Lord is delighted. And so they're the things that we have to put each day in the hands of Jesus. The small duties that each one of us has. A person working in an office, a housewife, a dad looking after the, the repairs in the house, a student studying, a school boy heading off to school. Our, our whole lives are made up of not just dozens, but hundreds, thousands of very, very small little things, which perhaps for others are of no significance whatsoever. But for Jesus they are. In fact, recently enough, Pope Francis pointed out that very often Jesus is asking his disciples to pay attention to the little details. And he gives a, he gives a nice list the little detail that wine was running out at a party. The little de detail that one sheep was missing. The little detail of noticing the widow who offered her two small coins. The little detail of having spare oil for the lamps should the bridegroom delay. The little detail of asking the disciples how many loaves of bread they had. The little detail of having a fire burning and a fish cooking as he waited for the disciples at daybreak. Jesus, help us to understand that we have only little things to offer you, but you are delighted with them and that in your hands they are transformed into great things. I give you thanks, my God, for the good resolutions, affections and inspirations you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask you for help to put them into effect. My Mother Immaculate, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.